Hey guys, Sammy here from The Passionate Jet Setter. Um, some of you've made from my Instagram story that I received this awesome boxu. It's a Discovered Japan box from my friend Katie in Hong Kong. So we thought we'd just try this stuff because it's all Japanese. We have no idea what it is. What one do you want to start off with? This one? Um, no, I want to start off with that one. Yeah, all right, go for it. Because I think I might eat that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's just like... Seeds and stuff. With a weird like black and white pan. I don't know how I feel about that. No? No, it looks like something you hang up for the birds. Smells good. Mm. Your definition of good and my definition of good. Very sweet. Well, for it to stick together. It's just seeds. Mm. It's seeds and like a sugary sugariness. It's really weird, but that tastes very Hong Kong y. Like really? food I have out in Hong Kong. Because it's very seeds and you get a lot of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Um, they're sesame seeds. That's it, you get a lot of sesame seeds and food I have out there. I quite like that, that's not bad. It is very, very sweet. It's like honey. Yeah, probably what it is. Well, that's so weird. Like when you get sushi rolls, mm. when you get the seeds on them, it's kind of what it tastes like. Yeah. But so far, so good. That wasn't atrocious. Mm. No, that was edible. No more descriptions in these. It also came with this little book about Discover Japan, Seasons of Japan and stuff, and it actually tells you what some of this stuff are. And it's got all the different seasons in there, tells you what they are, where they come from, where they're manufactured, what the snack is, if it's sweet or vegetarian. It's pretty cool but I'd rather not know. <laughs> what do you choose next? I want to choose this weird eggy, yolky, thingy thing thing. Well that tastes really lingers. Oh it's not bad though. It's not bad. It just tastes, yeah, it's just like sesame seeds. Oh my good lord, what's the actual hell is that? I don't know if I'm going to like that. You first. <laughs> oh. oh, no panko. No? What's so bad about it? Oh no, I don't want to try it. <laughs> it's, um, apologise about it, but it's a bit like a chipstick. Yeah. But the flavour of it's really savoury and quite strong, like strong crisp. You might like it. I... I'm very pi I'm very picky when it comes to crisps. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah? Mm, yeah, no. Um I I would eat it. If you had to. But it's personally just not my cup of tea. It's really crunchy. It's, it's literally just like a massive chip stick. But it's that flavour. It's. I don't know what the flavour is. That's the thing. Oh, Find out. It's not bad. It's like a mazy sort of. It's yeah, mace. it's a yeah. So it's like a massive maze stick. Yeah, keep eating it. Go for it. <laughs> hmm? Keep eating it. Go for it. Let's see if I can find it in the book. Yeah, grits growing on me. Oh, good. Continue. Okay. Uh, there are many Japanese dishes that feature a raw or fried egg and they're called Tusakami uh, because the egg looks like full moon. Oh uh, yeah, like mooncake sort of type thing. Uh, the snack is particularly fluffy and buffy and flavoured like Japanese comfort food. Tamago kei gohan, which is hot rice, soy sauce and a raw egg stirred into basically that puff stick. Uh, yeah. With subtle notes of seaweed, sesame, and sugar from a fruit game? Probably why I quite like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's that soy. Right. Really soy. Sort of, done. Pick one. Oh, I'm no weird chip thing. Where are the weird chip things? Oh, the weird chip things are top. It's really weird because they, so they look like chips. They just look like normal chips, but like they're hard. It's really weird. I don't know because I all that I'm picturing is McDonald's French fries gone stale for a week and put them back. 
That's what they look like, to be fair. Yeah, I know. I just... Oh, that egg thing, bless. Not, not my personal taste. <laughs> just chip. Why is it crunchy? Because it's hard. It's like a... You know, like a freeze-dried chip. Don't taste of anything, just taste... It's not a chip, it's a crisp, but it looks like a chip. I don't know. Freeze-dried, yeah? No, I think so. No, it is. It's a chip, but it's been dried. It's just a dehydrated chip. It's weird, because it looks like a chip, but it tastes like a crisp. Mm. Quite like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I've heard Japanese snacks. <laughs> mm. right. I want to try this picture with the people. No idea what this is. Can't believe you'll buy a chip. Like little, oh, I don't know what these are. I'm, I'm worried. Look what these smell good. I can't place the smell though. It's quite soy saucy. No, it smells like crisp flavouring. Oh, I don't know. Sound the beating, sorry, I'm not gonna butcher this. Taiko drums that are ubiquitous at summer festivals in Japan. These little savoury senbi are bursting with flavour. They are fried and then marinated mm. in tonkatsu sauce to give them a deep, complex, savoury flavour. That is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Yeah, yeah which describes it pretty yeah. well. Yeah, that's very good. You popular, know what it's it a popular is. condiment on the, the tonkatsu sauce, popular condiment for many fried foods found around Japanese festivals. Making this snack an obvious choice for a snack selection. Different. It's not yeah. awful, it's just weird because you don't know what it is, and I get a little bit ooh, with trying certain foods. No, we haven't got that one. Right, pick one. Do you want something sweet after that savoury? No, I think sweet should be saved last, really, okay. because otherwise we're not going to want the savoury stuff afterwards. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I don't know if they're sweet or savoury. The, the look of these scare me. It looks well, like. Do you want yeah. to try these ones or do you these ones? Go for whatever you want to do. I'm going to go for the secret. These look like seaweed. Yeah, like seaweedy, seaweed crackers. biscuit, crackery. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I swear I've seen Mighty Carmel's EDs before. Oh, really? Yeah. Big up Mighty Carmel's. Yeah. No, I need drink. I've got a drink up there. No, I need water. I don't know! <laughs> no, it's there. It's like sort of vinegar crisps mixed with fish and seaweed. Yeah, uh, yeah, salt and vinegar, fish. <laughs> <laughs> they are, yeah, they are. I'm not overly keen. Yeah, no, the fish bit. Yeah. It? Okay, thank you. I really, if that didn't have the fishy I taste, if it didn't have the fishy taste in it, fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm very, oh yeah, it's like when I clean, when I open up my fish tank, and you get that fish. Yeah, I didn't like that. No, I can't say I was a, can't say I was a big fan of that one. Let's try these weird. These ones, it's weird, they look like, because some of them are broken, it looks a bit lychee-esque on the inside, with a crunchy outer coating. Yeah. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh. It's like a melty prawn cracker. <laughs> sweet. That's really sweet. That just disappears. You, that literally touches your tongue and it's gone. Mm. That's no wonder because it's like airy. Again, not bad. I wouldn't choose to eat it. It's just so weird. It's like a mixture of flavours and textures that I've not seen in any other sort of cuisine. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm... I don't know how I feel about it. It's almost like it's coconut. Like shaving coconut. I'm not sure. I know, and it's Consult weird. Consult the manual. I'm, I'm not too sure on it, but I kind of want to eat a bit more. The outside of it is like covered in sugar. Yeah, it's very but sweet. But weird, it's yeah. Very sweet, like sweet savoury. Mm. What's going on? I think it's a, a very Japanese thing for a mixture of sweet and savoury. It is a sweet Maybe. snack apparently. As opposed to a savoury snack. But it is just so, it literally just disappears in your head. What one do you want to do next? Well they're red bean crackers apparently. So, well, a nice tribe anyway. Yeah. Um, my mouth feels like it's been abused. Not in a bad way, but in just a confused way. Yeah, it just smells like a normal cracker. I think this is the least offensive of them all. Again, it's weirdly really sweet. It is, it's like eating sugar. Really crunchy sugar. It's not offensive though. No, it's quite nice actually because it just tastes like a normal little cracker. I'm not offended by that. But I don't think I could eat too many because it's so sweet, it's quite sickly. Mm. Yeah. No, I'd probably, probably, probably eat a few more of them. Mmm. This is reaching in the ground level. Right, we have three things left. Try this thing, which is a white strawberry. That's not yours, that one. Oh my god, it's an actual strawberry. It's like a, oh, it's a freeze-dried strawberry. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping it's just a freeze-dried strawberry. I think that's what it is. No. The exterior cover of it is sugar. <laughs> yeah, of course. That tastes nothing like a strawberry. I don't know, it does. <laughs> The coating of it is just like a sugar. Yeah. It's really been dipped in sugar, but I worry if it's been pumped. The only thing that strawberries are very thin exterior of it, the rest is just been down to the Okay. Don't break my teeth. Oh, it's not bad. No. Quite sweet, it melts in the mouth type thing. You can definitely taste strawberry, but and that is a strawberry. But unfortunately, it's just too full of like icing sugar. Yeah. Type. Oh, oh, yeah. Cause it kind of looks like it's like when you've just got icing sugar mixed with water and it's gone hard. Yeah, but it's really hard. Yeah, but that's kind of what it looks like. Let's try these things with the funny, funky smiley faces. I love them. <laughs> they look like something that funky I would. Funky smiley faces. That I would eat this all the time. Yeah. I gladly would eat these. I don't know. Shotgun and pink one. Ah, yeah. Okay, great. Oh my god, it's just like jellies. Just like gummy jellies. Really sweet. I don't know. <laughs> no, you won't do it. <laughs> it is apple. I don't know, I think that one is meant to be strawberry, maybe. But it's like really fake sort of strawberry. Mm. It's like, the strong thing that hits you is the sugary flavour, like the sweetness again. Mm -hmm. And then this is just really squidgy. It's like really squidgy, like so squidgy. 
I love jelly sweets, but... It's a bit windy outside. Yeah, we're kind of going to a store for a minute. Powdered sugar. Lots of powdered sugar on the outside and the inside's really squiddy. Yeah. I'm going to do all these sake sweets now. Sake sweets. Like boiled candy with sake, which is weird. I don't think I've had... Oh, no, 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 it's wine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a rice wine. Yes, I have had it. It's really nice. I really liked it. Quite strong. Yeah, fairly. Strong from wine. Mm. If you were to liken it to a grape wine. Which, to reach it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about these. They look like, well, they're just hard sweets. Pop it, pop it in and dump. I know. I have flipped it. Yeah, they're a boiled sweet. <laughs> I know, but I flipped it and it hit the like, Quite nice. They're really nice. Wow. Mm. <laughs> just tastes like a boiled sweet. Mm. Nice sweet boiled sweet. I can't necessarily taste something. Uh, I didn't know it was sake sake. These are really. I'm glad we left these to last because these are really tasty. Yeah, they're the, they're the best sweet thing we've had. Although I think there's a potential choking hazard with them because they are. Oh, yeah. Mild choking hazard. Yeah. I think this is the second best sweet thing. I, it is weird that one because I shouldn't like that. Why? I'm not really a seedy nut bar sort of person. I like this one, it's good. But it's weird because you can really taste the sesame in it. It's like really sweet and the sesame and the nuts and stuff, it's really nice. But these are fantastic. Yeah, they're good. I'm loving these. I'll eat them all day long. Mm. They are Yuzu and Sake Candy. Thank you, Boxu. These are blooming awesome. So, yeah, that is our first ever. Boxu experience. Thank you, Katie, so much for sending us these amazing Japanese snacks. It's been really fun trying to decipher what they are and, and explore the new tastes and flavours that I've never experienced before. And hopefully, we, as a passionate jet setter, you don't need me, I, I bring it along with my husband, but I don't have to. Drag along. And we should hopefully be going off to Tokyo in six years' time. We're going to make it a big one. We're going to make it a joint wedding anniversary, 10 year wedding anniversary, and our 40th, 40th birthday. So, we've got that on the cards. Next, coming up as well uh, within the series, um, we have got Lake Como and Italy. So, we're doing a bit of a mini road trip. We're going to go to Monza. Did we go to Monza? We're going to go to Monza. We might go to Maranello. Maybe Maranello, but all around Lake Como. Um, and obviously I'll be doing reviews of our accommodation, local restaurants, the area, um, speaking to locals, giving you tips and advice so that if you want to go to Lake Como, you can be prepped for it. Thanks very much guys for watching, so please like, leave a comment. Have you ever had a boxu box? Let us know what your favourite is, it would be great to have a bit of a conversation about that. New videos coming on a monthly basis, we've got lots in the pipeline and I hope you enjoy, we'll speak to you soon.